What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Spy Family, Episode 7. This one is called The Target's Second Son. I'm assuming we're going to be getting a little bit closer and trying to rekindle our relationship with Damien. Uh, this should be very funny, should be very interesting. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to the other shows I'm watching and also full length to this show I'm watching, check out that Patreon. We're up to four episodes ahead. Links are down in the description down below, like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Spy Family, Episode 7, The Target's Second Son. Let's do this. You got some eggshells in a bowl. My man is chefing it up like always. Good morning, my lovely wife. Ooh, what a good man. Breakfast already ready? Look at cute ass Anya also waking up. She's probably still upset from what happened. Yeah. I know. We get it. I need to be more like Lloyd. Figuring out what we can do next is way more important than dwelling on the past. I dwell on the past way too much. This seems so interesting. I wonder what dynamic we're going to have. Like, is Anya going to have her own story at school? Will we have our slice of life parents' life at home? Or So we're going to work. The peace of the world <laughs> literally rests on you two making amends. Look at her adorable ass uniform and her hat. It is so cute. Oh, here comes Becky. Do you live in a castle, Miss Rich, Miss Rich Girl? That's funny. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, speak of the devil. Here is Mr. Desmond. I don't know, it looks like Damien's blushing a little. Like he was... He, he really actually likes Anya for her aggressiveness, outgoing personality, we'll say. And Becky's not going to let her apologize. At least Anya was trying. You'll just catch their stupid. I do respect Becky, though. and like, Don't even give them the time of day, you know, don't even. <laughs> Lloyd. Dang, she's already got a reputation. So barbaric. And she's hearing all of this. This is a little sad, I can't lie. Imagine going to school and actually hearing the things people think behind your back and say behind your back. You know, and you can actually hear them. It's actually pretty insane. Okay, Miss Becky. Yeah, don't focus on these sounds. Focus on the friends we have right here. Hell yeah. Oh. We're getting a, nar a narrative from his POV. Okay, Damien. No one has ever defied me before. I've never even been hit by my older brother. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Not confirmed as if he likes her or hates her so far. But I will say she's something he hasn't experienced before. And as a rich person, not myself, him, I know that's appealing to him. Something they haven't had before. And we know with little kids, if you, like, roast a little kid or you, like, act like you hate them, it means that you like them, so. Is that you, Kami-sama? Reconcile with him. He had to have it flip so she can read it off the mirror and stuff like that. That's so funny. I love this little montage of us in classes and seeing, <laughs> and seeing Lloyd just do his best to... <laughs> <laughs> but then John reflected upon his actions. Like, <laughs> this is <laughs> come on. This is so funny. My favorite class of the day, lunch. Wow, it's weird. We seem to have ordered a new gardener today. You see, I don't know. It's interesting. How is Anya gonna deal with this? I was so hoping he would like Anya because of it, and I'm so glad. See, she thinks... It's funny because she thinks she's getting, like, a disturbing chill coming from Damien, as if, like, it's from a bad way. And yes, it's from an uncomfortable, confusing way, but especially trying to understand and, and realize your emotions as, at that age is damn near impossible. You don't even know what you want half the time, so Damien must be so confused. 
I wonder what he's gonna say. I'm curious. Don't forget, if you guys want full length of this entire episode uncut, go watch on the Patreon with me. Great, enjoyable time. Anya's trying to apologize, but she's just hearing the roasting. Oh. <laughs> okay. His heart is overcome with emotion, love, infatuation. And then Lloyd is seeing, I was gonna say the best performance put on by Anya, but this is, she does feel genuine. She's just kinda sad right now. <laughs> hey, good comeback. Stare deep into my eyes. This is so cute. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Damien. <laughs> Stop pounding my stupid heart. Like we're watching Death Note. <laughs> this is like some Kaguya Sama Love is War type shit right here. Every baddie like Damien in every show ever has two little henchmen little guys that follow him everywhere, but it's just, it's so funny. No, let's see. This show is just gonna be all one big misunderstanding, isn't it? Little do you know, Lloyd, Plan B is working better than you would have ever thought. Ooh, that's being like an actual dad. That's kind of cheating, but... And you want to read his mind? This is what goes on in his mind 24-7. Yeah. Yeah, he has 17 different conversations and topics and thoughts going on. And what is she thinking? The denominator is five, so that's one split into five. So you cut a human into five pieces. You have his head. <laughs> oh my god, I love this woman. I would be like Anya, I'd be like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> And Yor doesn't realize that Lloyd is doing this for a mission. He's just he's just seeming like a, a father pushing his daughter to be the best she can be, but going a little bit too far in it. Like we have to do things that Anya wants to do. So I get that. Yes, Lloyd. You're getting a little too ahead of yourself. For the, and it's for literally the greater of the world, so I get it, but Yes, thank you, Yor. I love the way she says stuff. Because she said the right thing, but in such a calm, gentle gentle way. It's like, how can you not think Yor is right all the time, you know? What I would do for a wife like this woman, I swear. It's about time we see Yori. I want to... Something tells me he's an assassin like Yor, and I want to meet him so bad. I firmly agree. Firmly, firmly agree. You're the close, even by far the closest thing to it. Come on. That is true. He did say that. And I love how Lloyd is having struggles being a father, a pretend father. Yours having struggles being a pretend mother. You know, it's just, I love how they comfort each other and they're there for each other, you know? Come on. Shit's touching my heart right now, man. Come on. They make a great team, honestly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I want Ani to be their kid forever, but I want them to have 75 kids together. Nothing goes well in a short amount of time. Things, Great things take time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Mmm. We have this new resolve. Okay. I like this. Don't be impatient. This will take time. I wonder what she's doing in there. Is she doing her own studying? Does she fall asleep studying? That would be so adorable. Shouts out to her. She had that little thought. She reaffirmed her own resolve and wants to keep working. 
Bro, I'm telling you, this is the cutest family <laughs> on TV, I tell you. Like, I want I want a family member like Anya. I want an uncle like Lloyd. I want an auntie like Yor. Like, come on. Something tells me by the end of the show, man, we'll know. We'll know. Honestly, that was a great episode. I'm over here wiping tears out of my eyes. We have an after credit scene. I was just speaking of Yuri. Is this him? Yeah, that would be quite the shock. And they have the same eyes and everything. Like, oh, Yuri's going to be dope. I'm way too hyped. God damn. Well, that was a fantastic but very secluded episode. Like, it was all about the aftermath and the resolving of last week's episode. Us, in terms of Anya and Lloyd apologizing to Damien and that whole situation was just hilarious in terms of her trying to apologize all day. Becky being kind of, in my opinion, a good friend. Like, no, don't, don't, you'll, you'll catch their stupid, you know, kind of looking out for her. Like, honestly, I... Like, Becky was kind of iffy at first when she was like, oh, Anya looks like just a cute little baby. I'll take care of her. But then I think she's growing on, I think I think Becky is growing on Anya and I think Anya is growing on Becky. I'm starting to like Becky so far. But Damien falling in love with Anya was something I could totally picture. I just, I remember my days. I don't know specifically what grade they are. I'm assuming K through third grade, somewhere around there. I don't think they're young enough to be in kindergarten. I don't think they're old enough to be in fourth grade. I would say like third, second. I don't I don't. But I just remember those days like like I vividly, vividly remember friends of mine, like a, a girl and a boy. I won't say their names, but getting into like a slap kind of fight near the, near the playground during recess, like a physical altercation and then ended up like kissing and smooching and everyone was like, ooh, cootie. Like it was like the it was the it was the talk of the town in first grade, you know, so it was just like seeing stuff like this where Anya is crying because of the bullying but then apologizing and the daemons falling it's just obviously it's anime it's a little exaggerated but it's so realistic to kids that it's so funny like i could totally picture damien falling for anya especially him being handed everything in his life and her being the only person to deny him ever he probably he probably loves that honestly um but shout out becky shouts out anya apologizing shouts out damien shouts out yuri like i'm excited to see him and I gotta give huge shouts out to Lloyd and Yor. Uh, just honestly, such, a, such amazing parents doing what they can to help Anya. Getting frustrated when, when, you know, obviously parents get frustrated and stuff like that. But Lloyd coming to the realization like, you know, like this girl is gonna live a little girl's life. Yor is gonna live a Yor's life. Like I need to do what's obviously right for the mission in the world but not at the cost of these two people. So I'm going to do it right. Patience is a virtue. I'm going to learn. Like, it's just, I, 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 I pray to be as good a man as Lloyd one day when it comes to uh, talent, skills, espionage, when it comes to being a family man. Like, this is a good dream. You know, it's a good goal to, a good goal to aspire to. But uh, all in all, fantastic episode. Thoroughly just loving this show, undoubtedly. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure to check out that Patreon, early access and full length, up to four episodes ahead of all the other shows. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.